This is WebDev Sumos, and today I'm going to talk about my Google phone interview experience. Um, hopefully, the last time I recorded, um, like uploaded my Amazon phone interview experience, so that video was, I don't know, was issued for the copyright. Um, so if this happens for this one, then who knows what to do. Okay, so 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 the thing is, I applied uh, to a Google front-end position um, like via, via Google Jobs, and then my resume got selected. Uh, a recruiter reached out to me, and uh, we scheduled the interview three weeks apart, uh, three weeks from the day um, the recruiter reached out to me. Uh, so yeah, like I started preparing. So basically, they uh, whatever video I've seen, they treat every um, every interview as a DSA based approach interview. So that's how uh, uh, like uh, I planned that I'll interview according to the DSA, not not exactly a front end way of preparing for this interview. So I all I did was. I went on lead code, then started grinding the lead code, uh, and uh, the lead code.io was really helpful. Uh, this this list helped me a lot, and whatever the videos that uh, he has uploaded, it really helped me uh, to at least get my basic uh, foundation strong, or at least get started somewhere. So uh, following, I I just I just did not worry about. Uh, what questions Google is asking, uh, like top most question that Google asked. I straight away went with whatever this is, my source of truth What was this, and then uh, whatever question he has uh, nicely categorized the question. So I went over as many questions as possible. So if you can see, I went over 123 questions and from need code dot all approximately 175, but the number doesn't uh, matter. I went over these few, uh, like most of the questions I never really understood uh, properly. So I um, I saw the videos, tried to understand what's going on. Um, some took hours to understand. Um, so yeah, like some were easy to understand, but yeah, some some of them surely, like most of them surely took me a lot of hours to get hold of what was going on. And um, and yeah, then then once uh, I thought I've done uh, done some good amount of uh, problems, then I started uh, revisiting those again, um, those problems again, like revising whatever I've done again, so that uh, I really understand. Because the first time I have, I might have attempted it, I might have exhausted my entire energy understanding the question, uh, then coming up with the algorithm. So I might have done it half-heartedly. So to just uh, just um, go with a fresh mindset and uh, have a better approach for that problem, I revisited those problems. And uh, even now, if I revisit any problem, there might there might be a slight chance that I might not come up with a solution. I might uh, want to see um, see the video or the solution for it. But I, uh, but I'm I'm damn sure that if given a problem, I can at least start somewhere, at least start somewhere and go from uh, go uh, go in some direction, uh, given uh, given the so, uh, given the foundation that I've come up with solving uh, these question. Uh, so yeah, not not mugging up whatever the uh, solutions are, but actually understanding and how to implement those. Um, uh, those uh, data structures really does help. Okay, so that's what my plan of action was. And uh, my interview was scheduled to be on 26th of October, 2023. But, but, and I was, I, was, I was ready, I was waiting for the interview. But the thing was, I, um, I went on to the email that I had and there is a, there is a button like uh, add this to calendar. So when I added this to calendar, what happened was it created a video link. So I thought, yeah, Google is so smart. It it 
uh, it might have passed through the email, got the link, and um, might have created a uh, created a meeting for me, like a video meeting for me. So so yeah, that that's what I thought. And I, then um, then on the day of the interview, I just uh, went onto the mic uh, on calendar and sat there for like ten minutes uh, waiting for the interviewer. And uh, I was like, this is Google. How can this happen? Uh, uh, like the um, it's one of the greatest company of all time. So how how can uh, they be uh, so lenient and stuff like that? So later on, I realized I I emailed my recruiter immediately that uh, something is wrong. My recruiter is not there. Um, so she said, recruiter is still waiting for you. Why don't you join? Then I was like, I should have you uh, click that link. But uh, but till that point, I have already wasted 15 minutes. I joined the interview and I was so uh, embarrassed uh, and and didn't know what to say because I wasted that interviews uh, one hour, approximately one hour. And the, the interviewer had the entire day booked uh, of his, uh, like the entire time of his, of that day was booked already. Uh, so uh, he he then also asked me if I if I'm willing to continue for the rest of the thirty minutes. On that note, I was like, uh, it won't give me a fair fair chance to really attempt to solve the question. So uh, I, uh, I humbly said uh, told him that I would uh, I would love to reschedule this, but I apologized him as much as possible and to the recruiter as well um for the for this for this embarrassing situation that i created uh on my own but yeah that that's what that was that and uh, and then i i uh, then the interview got scheduled for today and today i didn't create any meeting and uh, my wa- uh, my wife also told me that don't create any meeting, just click on the link that we have given you. So I just did that and not made uh, any foolish uh, decisions. Um, yeah, so I just clicked the meeting and here I was, I, I keep, I, I won't disclose the question on, on this channel because they would like to keep it under the, under the wrap, as they said. So I won't disclose it and uh, but the question was really interesting. It was um, it was basically more inclined towards uh, towards what a what a front end developer might do, and uh, not really um, you know uh, particularly related to yeah it 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 was using a data structure like recursion, but it was not related to uh, related to what what do you call it. Um, the DSA, DSA part like trees or stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like it really caught me off guard and I was not able to think through, but the interview was really helpful. Um, and what I've heard that interviewer really want you to uh, solve the problem and get to the solution. So that's what I really experienced for the first time in, in like not for the first time, I guess. Um, yeah, but I really experienced that thing uh, in this interview, the interviewer was uh, interviewer helped me to see the edge cases uh, that I was not looking at. I was I was continuously communicating with him about my thought process, what I'm thinking, my understanding about the question he asked. The question was not at all from like I haven't seen that I might have seen it uh, somewhere, but uh, didn't I haven't solved that kind of question? And uh, it pretty much looked like that. He just gave me a scenario where I have to come with us, come up with a solu- solution where he was not reading it from uh, a website called as uh, like the code or any any of the platform. Uh, or he, he might be doing that, I don't know, but it looked like he is just framing that question on the go. And uh, and then he, uh, so because there was, there were no actual inputs given uh, like input, so he just gave a random input, uh, and really from there, 
it, it, I guess it's, it was my responsibility to see the edge cases and see different types of input that can be that can be passed to that particular function and what kind of output is expected. So that's uh, so I really brainstormed, uh, brainstormed everything, whatever I, I thought, and I tried to communicate as much as possible uh, where am I, uh, where I'm stuck, what am I, what what I'm thinking, uh, how I'm thinking to solve this question. Um, now, like whatever the edge cases I can think of, I I just told everything. But uh, but yeah, unless he would have helped me, uh, I wouldn't have able to code it out. Uh, so. Uh, so yeah, I really appreciate his uh, his help um, helping me out on the um, yeah the the coding exercise. So yeah, it was uh, and I really didn't feel that um, that one like before before the interview I was really nervous, uh, you know, and I I couldn't even sleep properly or um, yeah all those nervous feelings uh, jitters or whatever you call it it came. Uh, but yeah, once once I once I sat uh, through, uh, once I went through the interview process, I was it was uh, really like talking to. Uh, I also gave a couple of uh, like five, four to five gram interviews. So I I really um, thought I really told myself that it's just a pram another prime interview. You're talking to the interviewer, trying to get to the solution. So so I just stuck. Uh, uh, I stick to that plan. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that was enough. Uh, and if it it was not, then it was a great experience for me as a uh, as a front end developer. I was able to do it for the first time. Uh, go uh, like coding, attempting uh, to be interviewed at Google. So that was a good opportunity, I would say. And I uh, I would definitely uh, try to. Um, you know, do more practice on uh, on front end questions as well as uh, uh, the lead code questions because uh, unless and until I become really good at it, um, uh, yeah, like I won't be able to crack the uh, interviews. But yeah, so that that was the interview experience. It was really nice, and it was a forty-five minute interview. And uh, the interviewer was not really into a rush when when I went over over the forty-five minute um, um, minute mark. So yeah, at, at um, uh, lastly, he also uh, gave me some some time to ask questions. And initially, he uh, he even started explaining explaining the work that he is doing. The impact that um, he uh, 